Hello, in this week's video we're looking at screen recording software. So the one we're going to focus on is Screencastify. Uh, this is available as a Chrome extension, so great for those users of Chromebooks or education students and staff uh, because typically institutions prevent you from installing software. So here we go. What we do is we go to the Chrome store and you can click on the apps, little icons in the top left corner there to access that or you can just Google Chrome store. And then having got to the Chrome Web Store, type in screen recording and Screencastify appears there. So first off, we're going to add it as an extension. So we'll click Add to Chrome. It'll ask permission, add extension. Let's wait for that to do its thing. As I say, the extensions are great to add extra activity. Now we can see it's been added and we can see an icon has appeared here in the top corner. So we're going to close that little notification. So I'm choose the tab where I want to record. I then come up to screen castify icon. I click on there. It's asking me to do a setup. Setup camera access. So it's asking you to allow notification there. Uh, ask you where you want to store it. So I'm going to store it on Google Drive, but you could say locally on this device. I think I'll, I'll, I'll leave locally on the device. Screen fire, yep, so, on in. so it's asking to sign into my Google account. And it's asking permission there as well. So it's just a case of stepping through those It's asking some information there. So, okay. So, we've got the tab all set up now. We click on the icon at the top. And then you've got some functions here. So we can choose whether the microphone is on or off. We can choose whether we want to embed the webcam. So we tick that box, a webcam appears. We can have a preview window and then we can click record desktop. You can choose an application window so, or you can record the whole of your screen. So I'm going to choose an application window and then click share. The webcam has now come on and I have a preview of so I can see what's happening. So I can see my picture there I am in the bottom corner. I'm happy with that. I can move that out of the way and I can carry on recording my video so I could talk about the fact that on my blog there's a label function and I could click on that. I'm going to close that preview for the minute. And you can see the different functions come up and they can view my categories down the left hand side or they use the date function they can look at my blog there so I could be talking through all of that as I'm doing my video and they'll see what I click on so I click on a post and it will load up so that's what I'm doing I'm recording and it's recording my screen I can tell that because there's a little red dot in the icon for Screencastify at the top when I finish I click on the tab at the top Uh, a notice that's out of your view comes up that says to ask me to stop recording. So that was just out of shot out of the camera scope, but and then it's providing me with my thing. So it's telling me it's stored locally, save to disk, and there I am in the bottom. So I'm going to download that, save video to disk, and it's going to download. And then I could upload that to. YouTube or wherever. So very nice and easy to use. I apologize for my bad hair today. Um, if you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again next week for another EdTech video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.